Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our exercise on image manipulation. We will be working in Photoshop for this exercise. Let's talk about the basics. First, make sure you download the template files properly. Second, make sure after they are open, you are now doing image manipulation. You were doing color correction, so you want to be able to view both your original and the work you are correcting too. It is paramount that you go to your view mode, sorry, your window mode, and you arrange your workspace to tile vertically. So now you can see the before and after. It is physically impossible to do accurate color corrections unless you are looking at both your before and your after. Now, I like to check my file. I am checking my uncorrected file. I want to click over to my channels, make sure it's CMYK, always check. Go back to my layers, check image. Make sure we check image size. Hey, it's only 150 DPI, that's fine. As long as it's 150 to 300, you're good. These are prepared files. You do not need to change them. Now, this is an exercise in hue and saturation adjustment, and it is also an exercise in image masking using the color range filter. This filter is under the select menu. You will click on color range, you get a dialog box. Please do not have the dialog box over your main image because you will not be able to see. Set your selection preview to quick mask. Make sure you return your fuzziness to zero. You are going to use the first of three eyedroppers, which is the direct selection tool. Let's start with the main background. Our uncorrected version is green. Our final is blue. We are going to go over. It has a bullseye or a crosshair. We are going to click once on that color. You start to see the image preview in Quick Mask build the white. That's your mask. Now, you could just slide your fuzziness over and finish your mask. The problem is the more fuzziness the more stray or alternate color it picks. So I want that at one and then take it to two max. Return to your image with the plus eyedropper tool. Click plus, return, click and slide over that green. Click and slide over that green. Click and slide, click and slide. You will now see it fill in areas of green. There might be a stray tone, a little bit darker, a little bit lighter around there. You want to slide your picker over that. Look at your selection preview, that is key. It needs to turn from black to white. Now, you can take your fuzziness and push it a little bit. You do see some changes in between the word dads. You can see it finding some more localized color. Increase that until you feel it is then, look, now you can see the word barbecue starting to appear. That's too much. Bring it back. You want this to stay clean around your mask. Click OK. Dancing ants are dangerous. All they do is show you your selection. You are going to always hide them by hitting Command H. And now you can use Command U or Image Adjust. Let's actually hit Cancel. Image Adjust Hue Saturation. But let's get those quick commands down. It's easy. Command U. All right. Hue saturation works just like our lesson in color theory. First, if you notice, you have hue. You can see the color. We want it to go to blue, so we're going to move it to blue. Look at that. That happens in a second. It's too blue. Bring it back. Boom. Done. 
Easy. Now, hit Command H, you still have a selection. Hit Command D, deselect. End repeat. I will do the next two colors very quickly so you can see them and we can complete the exercise. We need to do the magenta pig, turn them to red. We need to do the cyan dads, turn it to yellow. Watch very quickly. Select, color range, zero out the fuzziness. Start on the left picker. Click on dads, you'll start to see the beginning. Click on plus, slide and click, slide and click. Find those alternative cyan colors. Now, if you click another color like black or red by accident, you will see it. Now, I don't want to keep messing around. I'm getting really close. So I'm going to come over. I'm going to bang that up a couple. I'm going to keep moving until I see my, my selection preview start to show alternate colors. Oh, there we go. We can see the background popping in. Let's bring that back. There we go. Okay. Command H, hide. Command U, U. We want to go towards yellow. And there we go. Done. I'm going to unhide. There you go. Command D. Done. Select. Color range. Zero. Original picker. Magenta pig. One click. Not up. Oh, there we go. Get the plus. Let's slide across. Let's get it all. Let's bring it over a little bit. Get like two pixels in there. I'm going to slide. I'm going to slide. I'm going to slide. I'm going to slide until I see almost all of those colors turn 100% black. I'm going pretty far. That is a very pure color. Look at that. All the way to 200 and we just have magenta. Command H, Command U. We want it redder. We're going to slide to the... Well, actually, we could probably go the other way quicker. There we go. Boom. Dead on. Click. Done. Command D. And now we have a perfect match using only hue saturation, a flat layered file. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for all six of these exercises, it is critical you save your file, file, bleh, save as, you are going to make it a PDF. You're going to, I'm going to throw it on the desktop. You are going to throw it in an appropriate folder. It is the uncorrected file. You are going to put your name on the front of it. So click, click, there we go. Uh, Mr. A, Mr. A, barbecue. Now, critical, big, 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 big time. Please pay attention, click save. Here are your PDF requirements. Please make sure you go to smallest file size. I do not need to see the high resolution on your input. I need to see that the color is correct. Click it, stick it, save PDF. It is now finished. Done. Move on. You can now close, close your file. You're going to return to your home screen and you're going to see the rest of your work. And we're going to move on from there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have at it.